my name is Tyler. I am the founder and CEO of Diesel Laptops. And today I'm going to talk to you about one of our programs called DTC Solutions. I want to show you how to use it. Some people do get confused. It's not overly complicated, but there is some nice tips and tricks we can teach you. So first of all, uh, what you want to do is you want to select what you're working on. So for example, if you're working on a Cummins ISX, you would select Cummins, and then you need to go find ISX. The important thing here is to look for the year range of the vehicle that you're working on, all right? Because there are slight variations in the years that could lead you down the wrong path. So I can tell you new versions coming out will eventually have a VIN decoder in here and some other things to kind of help you figure out which one you need. But for the most part, please select the one that you are looking for. So I'm actually gonna pick an older engine here because I wanna show you a couple features of the software. So let's go to International and let's go to DT466, all right? So first of all, uh, Let's talk about codes. Two things you need to know. Depending on what tool you're using, you may get a fault code or you may get this generic data. Uh, usually the lower end tools, the less expensive ones, will give you those weird things like PIDs and SPNs and SIDs and FMIs and PPIDs. Those all typically translate over to an OEM flash code. However, the great thing with the diesel laptop system is that you can search by any of those fields. So say you only had the 102 PID and the FMI4, all you would do is go to the search box and type 102, and it's gonna search and filter this down to the list with 102 in it. All right, once you find the one you're looking for, go ahead and click on it, and there you'll get your information on how to repair it. So the reason I wanted to show you this is because we do have two additional features. So first of all, if you go over here and click on wiring diagrams, you will see that we have color-coded wiring diagrams for the vast majority of engines that are in the system. We have a department here working on them. We produce more and more every month. I will show you how to check updates here in a second. But very good information to find your wiring diagrams. And if I go over here to component locators, this will pull up a basically a component locator, a nice picture of the engine. We will color code and point arrows to where different uh, items are in the vehicle, including sensors, all right? So to find updates, because we come out with updates really about every month near the end of the month, uh, the first of all, the program will prompt you every 30 days to check for updates. Go ahead and just hit the check for update button. Otherwise, if you want to manually check, you click the little I button, and then you click the button that says check for updates. If there were updates available, you would simply click the download button, it would download it, it would install it, and you are good to go. So with that said, that is really the quick overview of the software. Um, once you get to this point, if things are kind of messed up, you're not sure what to do, hit reset view. You can go back. Another little trick I'll show you, it does take it a while, but if you, uh, if you do not know what model to select or you can't seem to find it, you can go up here and just type a code without filtering by any make or any ECM. As you can see, it does take a while. So it's one of those things where it's kind of a last resort. You really should be able to go through here and find what you're looking for and not have to go click through, uh, through all that. So as you can see, we I started selecting things, different options came up. If I wanna see what the codes look like, I can obviously remove that. There's my codes. If I go to 2017 emissions, you'll see this is where Volvo has all their P codes now. And again, as you start typing here, the list will start filtering down based on your typing inquiry up here. All right, and again, reset view gets you back to where you were. So as always, if you have any problems, any issues, you can call Diesel Laptops, we're here to help you. Click on the link there, click the little help button or hit our, hit our icon there, it'll bring you right to our website and we'll be able to help you out. So I hope that helps, hopes to get you started in the right direction and we really hope you enjoy the software. Thank you for watching.